In this video, you will get an overview how to set up FFT analysis for post-processing sequences. I've started IPMotion and I'm working now in the Data Manager workspace. A data file with a couple of channels is loaded. To create an FFT for post-processing functions, I switch now into the Operations tab sheet. Within the first sequence, I add, as a post-processing function, now the FFT calculation. The FFT is calculating three results, the amplitude FFT, the power FFT and the phase FFT. With the FFT you can analyze harmonic frequency components from your source channel. The main configuration of the FFT is done in the FFT tab sheet. In the first step we select our source channel, which is a composed sign signal including six different frequencies. After defining the source channel, you define your resolution. The appropriate resolution should be, in a rule of thumb, four to five times the sample rate of the source channel. In this case the source channel has a 500 Hz sample rate and I selected 2048 points resolution for the FFT. Four different window functions are supported, which we will not discuss in more detail at this point. The FFT is now calculated and the result of the calculation is directly presented in this re operation result channel. I switch now to the analysis workspace I create a XY chart and add the amplitude FFT channel into the diagram and we can see three main frequencies at 10, 50 and 70 Hz. The result FFT you have now in front of you is currently calculated only from the first 2048 samples of the data file. When we switch back to the data manager and check our FFT configuration, we can see that we have not activated the average short time factor. With the average short time factor, you calculate a result FFT over the complete signal, including all samples. The following simulation will explain to you the impact of the average short time factor. As you can see, we have now a signal in front of us composed of two different frequency ranges. When we activate the average short time factor, an FFT of each data block in the size of the resolution is calculated across the whole signal. All these intermediate FFTs are added together to one final result FFT. Now I return back to IP motion. I activate the average short time factor set to 100% which is indicating that there will be no overlap when the FFT data are calculated. Now I return back to the analysis workspace and we see the complete FFT in front of us including the result of all the samples of the raw signal showing me now the frequencies of 100, 130 and 150 Hz as well. Thank you very much for your attention.